today is the second day of July. We're about to tell you that there is still a hurricane over the waters of the Caribbean Sea and it's still heading in the direction of Jamaica. It's major category five hurricane Beryl continuing to move in our general direction. There is some good news, but there is bad news. First of all, the system strengthened in the past few hours. And the other bad news is that it continues to move in a direction that will take it toward Jamaica, maybe the southern part of Jamaica, maybe just off the coast. But the good news is that this system is expected to weaken somewhat. That's the only good news we have right at this point in time. We are expecting it to weaken down from category five to four, likely three before it gets to Jamaica. We're hoping that it will weaken even further, but as it is now, we do expect that the system will, the center of the, the, the system will move very close to the southern coastline. There is still even the possibility of it moving over Jamaica as well as it could move to the south of the island. We're watching very closely, we're monitoring carefully, and we will advise you appropriately. So the conditions are expected to deteriorate early in the morning on Wednesday, that's July 3, as it continues to move toward the West. We're hoping for the best, but we have to prepare for the worst. Continue to pray, continue to have hope, and of course, continue to build your relationships as we prepare for hurricane burial. Just for a point of reference, you may recall Hurricane Gilbert. Some of you recall Hurricane Gilbert of your, or you have seen images of Hurricane Gilbert way back in 1988. That was a category three hurricane. If you think about Hurricane Ivan that occurred in 2004, that system, the center was just off the coast, but it was a category four hurricane. So using those as baseline, Hurricane Sandy in 2012 was a category one hurricane that moved right across eastern parishes of the island. So with that framework, we know that this is a dangerous situation. Category three means a dangerous situation. Category two also is dangerous as a lesser strength hurricane, but still causing major impacts over the island. We have to prepare ourselves for whatever will come our way. In terms of the weather across us, first of all, we are expecting some heavy rainfall to develop over the island, mainly over southern parishes, but it will extend over the entire island, especially with the spiral bands that are surrounding hurricane burial. There is also the, the conditions related to the strong winds that are expected with a hurricane. Hurricane force winds are nothing to scoff at. They are over 74 miles per hour or over 119 kilometers per hour. That's a lot of wind. And if that is moving in your area as category one, it's bad enough as a category two or three going over 100 miles per hour, that is something to be concerned about and of course to be prepared for. There is also the concern of storm surge flooding that could coming over the coastal areas of southern parishes, strong winds blowing those waves of the sea onto the land and pulling of course lots of the infrastructure from the coastal areas into the sea. That is a real possibility. We're also likely to experience lightning coming from those thunderstorm clouds, and we're also likely to see landslides after the soil is inundated by that water. So please be prepared for all the various hazards of a major hurricane. In the Eastern Caribbean, Hurricane Beryl has already left a footprint, passing by Barbados with heavy rainfall, lots of storm surge. Um, we, it moved past uh, St. Vincent and uh, St. Lucia, has moved past Grenada, which was terribly hit. St. Vincent also badly damaged and devastated by this hurricane and the situation continues. It's moving away from the islands of the Eastern Caribbean now, in the open waters of the Atlantic, where, of the Caribbean Sea, where temperatures are very warm, and so more development of the system has occurred and will continue to occur. We have to watch this system very closely as it moves over the waters, and of course, closer and closer to another island, the island of Jamaica. Blessings, my viewers. Right now, Beryl is currently en route to Jamaica right now, so be prepared for a storm that is coming that has no care for no man right now. It's not on the part of shifting, turning, or nothing like that. Hurricane Barrel is heading for Jamaica, so are you prepared? My Jamaican friends and family members, I do pray for our safe and secure journey through this hurricane. Be he blessed and be safe.